Hey girl, hey! Welcome back to Robin Shear Photography. Today I am going to demonstrate how to use light flares and they are from a preset that I bought and I believe they are from the Lux Lens and uh, I'm going to use them on a few images so we'll start with this one. So if you want to follow through to the end you can see how all three are applied and don't forget to hit subscribe and follow me to watch more uh, educational videos using Lightroom. Uh, all right, let's start. So I'm going to start with this image. I'm going to reset it. So this is Sook straight out of camera and I will pop on my basic preset and you can see it dials down the green so there's not a lot of yellow. Um, I like my images very warm so I'm going to use the eyedropper and I'm going to touch on something white or uh, gray and check my white balance. Um, you can see that bumps up the tint, the magenta, to 23, which is just too pink. You can see that here. So I'm going to dial that back probably to about 5 and bump up the warmth and bring the brightness down, the exposure down, just a shade. So now I feel like this is starting to look good to me. The skin tones are starting to look creamy. So I will use my cropping tool. I will set it to eight by 10 rule of thirds here. So again, let's touch on cropping. You do not want to crop at a joint. So right here, it's cropping at their ankle joint. You want to avoid that. You want to go mid shin. So I'm going to lift that up a little bit. And I like that. That puts the rule of thirds through the headlines here, which I like because it draws your attention to their interaction, which I like. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter and keep that crop. Uh, I feel like there's a little bit more room here than here, so I will adjust that just a shade. I think that's a little bit more balanced. So what I will do next is check the skin tone. Grab my dropper. I'm going to come in here. Uh, let me back up. I'm going to zoom in here. So let's go on a mid-tone, usually between the eyebrows is a good place. And for a Caucasian, you want to look for the RGB scores, which is the bottom of this target. You can see it's 85, 79, 69. Uh, perfect numbers are 85, 78, 68, so we pretty much hit it. If you're off a number or two, I think that is fine. You can judge for yourself and check out the skin tones and tell you'll get really good at telling that the skin tones look creamy and normal and not tinges of green or magenta. So I'm happy with the skin tone, the numbers came out, so we'll move on from here. So there's no eyes that you need to pop because they're interacting. Um, I will take care of minor things like this with the healing tool, so I'll go ahead and get rid of those marks. Uh, easy fix and then I will run the skin smoothing tool over their legs. And that is a brush I've already made. And I do have another video on creating brushes so you can check that out. So I will scroll down to my brush and I'll use the skin smoothing. Now she has a few scars on her leg that this might not, right here, it might not take care of, but let's take a look. Uh, if you hit the backslash, that will give you the before and hit it again and that will give you after. So let's scroll in here. There's a couple things we can take care of with the healing tool and I'm fine taking care of that. Uh, you wanna make sure you're delivering uh, beautiful images to your clients. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off these things. And I normally will remove things that will heal themselves over time. I have mentioned it before. If it's a scar, a prominent scar, and you think it may, may be a part of their story, I always ask if they want it removed or not. If it's something that's gonna heal on its own, I normally will just take it off. Very much like acne, that's gonna heal on its own. So I don't feel like you need to leave that on there. So I'm gonna run the brush over her leg here, smooth it out a little bit more. So I'm okay with that. Okay, so you can see the sun was coming through here. If you wanted to make it more dramatic, you can use lens flare presets. I'm gonna move me out of the way a little bit here. Um, so you can see, here's a list of all the presets. So if you start clicking on them, so it'll start putting them into your, you can see it right there. 
and then I'll move to the next one. Um, I think it's going slow because we're recording. So um, let's go to the next one. See, now you're starting to see them here come up. And they're just different. And so I'm going to want one that's going to come. You can move them around, I'll show you. So I'm just looking for one that I think will be the closest. So like that one's pretty close to what was happening. Um, that one is that one is and then that one gives you some directional here um, so we'll go through and check a couple more here because I'm looking for one specifically to show you that uh, they get pretty they get really fun and you can really add some drama so I have not found it yet I believe it's down further um, let's take a look Let's go to this one. I'm gonna show you the one I'm looking for. It might be there. Let's try something really dramatic. So I'm gonna use this one. So I've clicked on it, it's applied it. It applied the other one uh, because I was trying to get it to get going since we were recording. So it doesn't matter where it places it in the screen. I'm gonna show you why. If you click here on your masks and then you come back over, you can see it applied these other sunbursts for some of the reason so i'm going to click on this one and it'll highlight it's that arc and i'm going to get rid of it and this one we don't want that one either it will not do this on your screen if you are not recording just so you know this uh, happened because i was recording but you're able to delete them it's no problem so here's the one i want i'm going to move it i'm going to grab it and move it here. So the sun was already coming through here. So this isn't a stretch. If you had, look over here, I was at F6.3. If I had stopped down uh, to um, F11, you would have gotten, you would have gotten the starburst feel. Um, I was a little bit more open than 11, so it was more of a gentle glow, but you can definitely, you can add that. Now, once you've clicked on it, you can come over here and you can dial back the brightness. Uh, it's The temperature is already full bore, that's fine. You can uh, bring the shadows down, makes it a little bit less uh, contrasty. You can bring the whites down, but then you get that, so you don't want to do that. But I'm showing you, if you go to extremes, you can really see what each slider is doing. And so I kind of like the more gentle. And so we can actually leave that there. I'm going to put me back down here. So here's the before. And there's after. So you can see it's not a real stretch to have used that particular starburst. So I'm going to leave that there and I will show you <clears throat> there is one where, so here's a different one where they are looking at each other and I'm going to take this off and use one that I have not edited yet. So here we go. So I'm going to use this one. So you can see there's a lot of yellow in the greens. I'm gonna pop on my preset. Let's see, here we go. There's my basic. I'm gonna get the dropper, hit the white. You can see it went pink again. I'm gonna bring that down to about five. And I might actually use, um, let me take that off. I'm gonna use this one. So we're gonna reset it. We're gonna hit the, here we go, hit the preset. And I'm gonna grab the dropper on the white. We're gonna set our white balance. And it's too pink, bring that down, gonna warm it up. And I think it's still a little too pink. And now I'm gonna brighten it up just a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to crop it again. So if you want, you can hit the option in the O and that'll cycle through your different 
cropping options. So if there's my rule of thirds that I love, um, you can also use this and then you'll put them in the crosshairs and we can leave that, I'm fine with that. So here's the sun and I'm gonna show you a different sunburst we can use. So there's one, let's do this one just for kicks. So now we're gonna go over to the mask. We don't want this one. Now you can see that's the sun. We don't want that one. So here's the sun. And this is saying that this was its reflection off of your lens had you been using a certain lens. So if we move that sun into position where the sun was, and then you move this over, depending on what lens you're using, this could actually happen. It was not happening with the lens I had on. I was using, I believe, my 50 millimeter, let's see, yeah. And I was at 2.8, so we had more of a glowy ball of sun. And so um, if I come out of that and we do the before, you can see the sun is in the correct place back here. And I actually had a little bit of starburst going on here because I was, well, I was at 2.8, it should have been more of a glow, but so you can see that works. That's not far-fetched. So these lens flares are really fun additions to your images if the image already has a sun flare that you can just accentuate. Um, again, I feel like that goes with the scene. You can leave this, you can delete it. Um, here, again, we can bring the power down, the exposure down. I think that looks a little bit more natural. Um, I think this one you could probably bring down a little bit. Again, before, after. I think it works, I think it's fun, so you can leave that. We'll do one other, one other image here. Um, let's go back to these. Let's do one I haven't edited yet. So we'll reset, and I'll go ahead and apply my preset. And it didn't make it too pink this time. Now the sun was getting lower, so I'll go ahead and hit the white. Did make it pink again. Warm it up, and I'm gonna brighten it just a shade. I'm gonna go in and check skin tones here. So uh, again, between the brows is a good place. So you can see my numbers are really off. They're not off, I normally check on the forehead here or between the eyebrows. So here, again, your RGB uh, numbers can be 75, 65, 55, so if we're going with that, the numbers are pretty spot on. Their skin does look creamy. The other numbers are 85, 78, 68. And so I didn't hit those here, but I am closer to 75, 65, 55. So again, their skin does look creamy to me. I'll check her. I'm right on I'm right on the money. 75, 68, 57. That's close enough. I still think the skin looks creamy. I'm gonna leave it there. And we'll hit uh, the 8 by 10 and we will crop. I'm gonna go ahead and center them. It's not always the most interesting crop, but in this situation, I like it. Um, so I'm gonna leave it, because I feel like all the girls should be front and center. So let's move this over here. So the sun is coming from this angle. So again, it doesn't matter which one you choose because you can move it around. So let's see what this one is. And we'll go down to here. And that's too, that's too dramatic for this scene. So let's see what these are. So let's do, uh, let's play around here. Let's go, let's go down. So I'm gonna pick that one. Okay, so let's get in there and see how it lands. So we go into masking and see which starbursts actually went onto the page. So I'm gonna take this one out. And then this one is, you can see it's more of a sun flare. I don't think it goes with the scene, so I'm gonna get rid of it. The sun is coming from this angle, so I feel like if I move this 
and so it does have this so we definitely need let's get rid of that you want the you want it coming from a different direction so we'll use this one so let's go in here let's go to the masks and so if I move this out of the way sun was coming from here so I'm going to move it into that corner and you can see this little bit of tail of the sun flare so if I get it right out of her face then it looks as if it was reflecting off the lens you were using and so again you don't want it to seem far-fetched so I'm going to dial down the exposure on that make it a little bit softer because the original image had a softer feel from the sun flare so now before after so it does add a punch it is definitely fun uh, something for you to play around with um, again it was a luxe lens and um, I think they add a pop to your images and something fun if you if it's realistic like I said so um, always keep that in mind and whenever I'm editing anything I will do the before and after constantly to make sure that I'm staying true to the original image and not getting too crazy with my edits so with that in mind um, again Feel free to hit subscribe and follow along. I have some other videos you can watch for creating brushes, smoothing skin. I talk about cropping and how to crop professionally. So um, be I would be happy to have you subscribe and follow along and uh, learn tips and tricks in Lightroom with me. And go ahead and check out my online self-pace creating senior portraits class and master the art of senior photography. Thanks for listening and thanks for being here. And I will talk to you later. Have a great day.